All right, guys, so now we're going to talk about a great exercise to get your hand stretched out over the keys um, so that you can be playing some really awesome octaves. Let's check it out. Okay, so what you want to do is practice stretching your fingers out to an octave. An octave is a C to a C, okay? Um, it might take some practice. Your hand's probably not used to being out. Maybe you have shorter fingers. It's okay. Try your very best. I have really short thumbs. Um, but they can stretch an octave, so you got it. Guys, it's going to be a lot easier for you. So, practice doing that over and over to where it's consistent, and then move to the next one. Then move to hitting them both at the same time. And the easiest way to move around in octaves, it's really hard to move around in octaves quickly, um, the easiest way is to let your thumb do the leading. So let's say you're on a C and you want to move to a D. Just move your thumb, watch your thumb, don't watch your whole hand, just watch your thumb and keep your fingers spread apart the same distance, okay? So between any octave on the piano, your fingers are going to have to be the same width apart. So imagine that there's a string connected and then just ch -ch -ch move it around the keyboard. So watch your thumb, move your thumb to the bottom note of where you're going to be in the octave and then just let the rest of your hand follow, okay? So you'll be going. And you can move around, you can do any, any notes. A uh, good progression is C, G, F, G, C, okay? And practice moving around and keeping that hand the same width apart. Good job, you guys. What's up guys? Great job today. Keep playing. Please be sure to check out our other videos. Looks like we have some great ones here. And also, please email any requests you might have to request at mahalo.com and we'll be sure to check those out and get back to you. And keep playing. And most of all, have fun.